a few moments later. Okay, I have a good idea. Let me show you. Hey, I'm Jojo. I love to travel around Taiwan. This time I got a task from my friend. Plan a one-day journey with everything fun and cool. Our destination this time is a cute village located in the northeast of Taipei City. It would take us one hour by car to get there. We already arrived. Do you know where is the place yet? Uh, okay, no more hanging. The correct answer is Jin Shan. So next I'm going to show you how you can spend one day in this beautiful little town. This is our first stop, one of my pocket lists in Taiwan and a must visit place in Jinsan. Are you ready? Welcome to the mysterious coast! Why they call it mysterious coast? A long time ago, this coast is not that popular until a very famous Hollywood director shoot a movie, Silence, over here. Then, more and more people get to know this beautiful coast. Because of the erosion of the wave for a very, very long time, which view this unbelievable landscape, we call it abrasion landform. This is like a natural classroom. You can see a lot of sea creatures over here and also cool landscape such as tofu rock, honeycomb rock, sea cave, sea cliff. Those cool things was on your geography book, but right now they are right in front of you. As you can see, it's really hot over here, so don't forget to put on your sunscreen and take away your garbage. Don't leave your trash to this beautiful coast. After this beautiful coast, next I will show you another coast where it looks totally different from here, but actually really close. We are now at Zhengzhou Bay, and this is International Surfing Base. The goal is to make Zhengzhou a world famous for surfing. And they also provide clean and fine showering facilities, so surfers can have fun here without worries. Not only for surfers, it's also a good place for family and children. Because the sands over here are soft, the beach is vast and shallow. Also a good place for kids to have fun! After one minute by walk, we move from a sandy beach to this rocky shore. This is Taoshi Coast. Taoshi means rock jumping. Why we call it the name like this? Because a long, long time ago, before Danjing Gonglu was built, the wave would submerge the area sometimes. So people need to wait until the tides recede so that they can jump from one big rock to another to go forward. That is the reason why we call it rock jumping, which is Taoshi Coast. If you want to enjoy the sea, but don't want to get a suntan, here is also a smart choice. There are so many different ways to enjoy the sea. You can go surfing, playing around at a sandy beach. Like me, I just chill, relax, and enjoy my life. We are now at a village known for fishery. Of course, we cannot miss the fish and hopper here. So this is Huanggang. Due to its excellent conditions and abandoned catch, it's quite an important fishing port in the history. And also, the nice view is also good for your Instagram photos. After taking a lot of beautiful photos, I found an interesting trail beside. So this is it, the cute little tiny and a little bit steep trail is Yulu Old Trail, also known as Jinbo Li Old Trail. Every day, the fishermen will carry their seafood from Huanggang to Taipei, and this is the starting point. We just took one hour by driving from Taipei to Jinsan, so you can imagine how much time they need to spend on this journey. So let's check it out and back to old times. 
and many stories happening on fish vendors and merchants over here. Although it has long lost its economic value, but it's still full of culture. Ooh. Okay, keep sleeping. Sorry for disturbing. Oh, they're so cute. About noon, the sunlight gets stronger, and I'm also hungrier and hungrier. So I decide to head to Jinsan downtown. Jinbali Old Street, also known as Jinsan Old Street, is the only existing commercial street from Qing Dynasty on the northern coast. You can still see a lot of old traditional buildings over here. Besides, there are a lot of local food inside. I'm so hungry right now. Can't wait to take a look. Let's go! There are a lot of tourist attractions and local specialties that you can give it a try, such as yam cake, baked yam, and renowned duck meat. During the holiday, they are always crowded with a lot of people and tourists. That is the famous duck restaurant located in front of Guang'an Temple. What makes it so special is that they insist to raise their duck for 130 days, which makes their duck at the perfect condition. There are no menu. You can see all the dishes over here, and you can just grab whatever you want. And you need to carry your food by yourself and back to dining area. Okay, now I get the point why they need to raise your duck for 130 days. Because the texture of the duck is quite chewy, which is the texture that I like. Also, they taste not too greasy. So I would say this is the must-try local food here in Jinsan. Jinsan abounds with yam. They make a lot of different kinds of side products. For example, honey yam, yam cake, yam sticks, yam chips, you name it. And don't forget, yam rice bowl! It's also one of my favorite Taiwanese desserts. After taking the rest, we head to the most famous tourist attraction, Jinsan Hot Spring. Hot Spring here is not transparent. It contains oceanic sand, sulfuric elements, and iron. That's the reason why Jinsan Hot Spring looks a bit yellow and red. Leaning against mountains and seas, Jinsan has plenty of natural resources. Due to the Dachung volcanoes, Jinsan has high quality hot springs. Um, several hundred years ago, people over here found that the hot spring can heal skin disease, so they take it as medical water. There are 20 bathhouses in Taiwan, and there are five in Jinsan, which is quite a lot. And the most important is that they open to public, so you can enjoy this kind of hot spring for free and like this kind of leisure activity for the citizens here in Jinsan. It's just their daily life. I envy them so, so much. This is so perfect. Jinsan is a place with a lot of temples. A very large Buddhist temple locates up in the mountain. Hey, don't feel boring. It's a place deserve visiting. Dhamma Drum Mountain is the combination of Buddhist practice, culture, and education. It is known as one of the four biggest Buddhist groups in Taiwan. When you arrive, there are staff over here can show you around. They will give you a basic knowledge about Buddhism, and they will teach you how to do the worship. You can find a piece of calmness and quietness over here. And as you can see, the architecture style is quite different from most of the temple in Taiwan. From this position, you can see a very spectacular view.
Our last stop goes to the most famous landmark in Jinshan, Lion Head Park. I'm here to find the legendary twin candlestick. This is Lion Head Mountain Park, which is quite important for local people. The whole journey takes you only 30 minutes, a suitable place for take a walk. From this position, you can oversee Jinsan Bay. Now I get the point why they choose it as the army control zone before, because you can see everything so clear so that you can better protect this area. Because of military purpose, this park is less developed, so the natural ecology here remains original and diverse. Oh wow! That is Huanggang Fishing Harbor, and that is Tiao Shi Coast, that is Zhongzhou Bay. These are the places that we have visited today. They are twin candlesticks! They are shaped by plant movement and natural erosion. How amazing Earth's ecological beauty can be! Ooh. This is Zhongzhen Pavilion, the last step of today. So after taking a rest, we're heading back to Taipei. Hey friends, it's the end of today. We have to say goodbye to Jingshan. But I hope you love the place that I recommend to you today. No matter you are a people who love mountains, oceans, delicious food, culture, I believe Jingshan can fulfill what you want. See you next time in Jingshan. Better stuff, better stuff, better stuff. Perfect condition. There are a lot of ah, Bajian locals. Um, there are a lot of tourist attractions. Tourist attractions. It's also good. Oh, also. Oh, Bajian. Oh no no. Also, they will teach you how to do this. Okay, sit. Sit to the one camera and give you a lot of basic information. Basic knowledge. Oh, we do learn basic knowledge. So the ecology, nat natural ecology! How amazing, oh no! How amazing, how amazing, how amazing.